In today's tutorial, I'm going to be going over how ARP works within Cisco Packet Tracer. So I've got this little simple network here. We've got four PCs, we have two switches, and we have a router. Everything is already set up, and that was done in one of my prior tutorials. And now I'm going to be showing you and explaining how ARP works within Cisco Packet Tracer, which may help you understand some of the little things that happen when you start out trying to ping on a new network. So in this network, I have never pinged anything. Everything is completely fresh and ready to start playing with. So I'm going to open up my PC zero here and I'm going to come into desktop into command prompt. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to ping our PC three that lives over here. Now you're going to note one thing that happens. So the first time it kind of lags. And we end up with a request timeout. But then the ones after that do work. Now, this is because the network needs to send out an ARP signal, which basically tells it, uh, this is the device I'm looking for. I need to fill it into my ARP table. So if I did ARP A, we'll see that we have our outgoing connection, which is our switch here. So the switch is the 10.1 address that's been already set up and it's dynamic. Now, right now we've only got that, but if we pinged our PC one, so I'm just gonna go up and do that way, 10.12, it works right away because it is within the same switch. But now when I go to my ARP table, I now have an additional entry in here being this PC. Now what I can do is I can go ARP D which then clears out that ARP table. And now I'm going to show you how it looks within simulation mode. So I'm going to come down to simulation. I'm going to drag this across. We've got a bit of a better view. And I'm going to select the simple PDU from PC0 to PC2. Now you see that it starts off with two already. So what I'm going to do real quick is just shrink in these so that we can see. So we've already got an ARP one here, which is the green one. And we can actually click on here and we can see that it is trying to do an ARP broadcast to work out how it gets across the network. So I'm just gonna speed up a little bit and press play. So it is sent it up here, ARP again, ARP. Nope, not that right, not that ARP. Let's come back down. And our ARP is now successful. So it's worked out this side of the network. It now needs to work out the other side of the network. So this one's failed and this one was correct. So it's gone, okay, I now understand how to get across the network and that this is where I want to go to. And then it's going to then go through a bunch of other random things which look like it fails. And this is how it is with Cisco Packet Tracer. But we down here we have our first one failed. You know, if we, delete this. So if we look here, we've had the ARP. If we delete this and we do a new one, this time we just have the one packet. It goes up and it makes its way across the network. No problem at all. So this is one of the things that when you're starting on Cisco Packet Tracer, you might think, oh no, the network doesn't work. Sometimes you just need to have it do a first run so that it can understand how it gets around the network in order for it to actually be successful. So for example, if we now try to do PC three, we have our normal network again because it understands how to get across the network. It understands that if the, um, PC that we're trying to ping is under the VLAN with 20, then it needs to go to this switch. And then it understands that it lives over here. So now we have no issues and another successful ping. So that's a bit of understanding how ARP works. And you can look at a ARP within any device. I'm just gonna clear out that. You can look at ARP in any of these devices by coming into command prompt and doing ARPA, which shows our entries. So if we come over to PC2, we could do the same thing, ARPA. So it understands how to get around the network using the ARP protocols. 
what we can also do is we can have a look at the ARP table within the router. So we can come in to the CLI mode. We want to do enable to get into configuration and we can do show IP ARP. And this is all the IP addresses that have gone through the network. So here we've got 11 has sent out 13 and 14. We have our two VLANs. What we don't have is 12. So let's try and see if we can get 12 to now populate in. So I'm going to open up PC 12 and I'm going to ping uh, 192.168.20.14. So I'm going to go over to the other side of the network. Okay, now I'm going to open up that router window again and run the same command and our 12 is now in there. So they don't automatically populate until they have to go through that component on the network. And then it will show up and be like, oh yeah, that's that device. I know that one. And then when it tries to send another communication down the track, it knows how to get there because it already has that ARP information. So yeah, I hope that helps in understanding how ARP works in Cisco Packet Tracer. And also to keep in mind, this is really useful when you're trying to then start out testing your network. It might not work on the first attempt. But if you do your first attempt and then try again, you should have success if the network is built correctly because you've now gotten that ARP table filled out. So yeah, I hope you like this video. If you've got more requests, please leave them in the comments.